Bhagavad Gita, texts 1.21 to 23. Arjuna said, O infallible one, draw my chariot between the two armies so that I may see who has assembled here in fighting spirit and with whom I must contend in this battle. Let me see those who have come here with a desire to please the evil-minded son of Dhritarashtra. Battle is no doubt the object of delight for a warrior like Arjuna. However, here Arjuna indicates that while he is a great warrior, he has doubts about this war. It is not bringing him joy at the onset. He raises his bow, but his hesitation betrays his reservations. Here, Arjuna addresses Krishna as the infallible one, and indeed he is so. But why is the infallible one driving the chariot of Arjuna? All are fallible in this world, however mighty they may appear. Krishna is assuming the post of chariot driver and taking these orders from his devotee Arjuna, actions that seem contrary to the notion that he holds a position of infallibility imply that his infallible status is outer-worldly. Chariot driver he may appear to be, but more he is Arjuna's friend, and Krishna will never fail him. He has become Arjuna's driver out of affection for him. Of all of Krishna's qualities, his affection for his devotees is foremost. In the very first utterance of Arjuna, the conclusion of his sacred conversation is revealed. The infallible Godhead, Krishna, is subordinated by the love of his devotees. Love of Krishna conquers the source of all material benedictions and eternal life. Under his influence, the infallible becomes failable. However, Krishna's failability in relation to pure love infallibility for those who love him. Krishna never fails his devotee.